Hey guys, this is Early1981 and welcome back to the Golf Club 2. Today we're going to do something different. I'm uh, actually going to challenge um, a ghost ball that I found on TPC Sawgrass. It was a realistic score that I saw shot. It was a good score. It's going to be very hard to beat this ghost ball. But um, the format is match play. Um, oh, I have forgot to turn on the handicap system. Um, so future ones will be with handicaps enabled. So either you'll be given strokes or losing strokes. Um, this is something I want to put out there to you guys. I'm looking to be playing uh, YouTube subscribers. Maybe on a weekly basis. It can either be live or like this. Um, you can go and play a course. Tell me you've played it and I'll add your ghost ball in if you don't want it to be live. The only issue in not being live may well be the difference in wins. But, do you know what? It's something we can live with. So anyway, here we go. I have got a 13 mile per hour win kind of against, against me. Nailed it down here, the, the middle of the fairway by the looks of it. So I'm really hoping this is something that can take off in the channel, guys. If you're interested in uh, challenging me, please say in the comments. So let's now see Ian's tee shot. It is alternate shots, guys, so the round will take probably add about five, six, seven minutes, maybe ten minutes to each round. Um, hopefully that's not too long for you guys. So we see Ian's only got a two mile per hour wind. And I can tell straight away he is using the player clubs, whereas I'm using the tour clubs. So look at that. Um, <laughs> despite me using the tour clubs, the wind advantage to Ian, he's hitting further than me with the player clubs. Looking at 125 yards. But it's only a bit of fun. It's just to get a bit of competitive edge on the videos. So I'm left 125. It's definitely a pitching wedge. Good strike. Ah, the wind's taking me around more than what I'd hoped. And I've just over hit that. So if Ian can get inside my ball, it's definitely an advantage to him. Nice. He's maybe pushed that slightly to the right. But why? Wow, see, see with the, the player clubs, you, you, you do not get penalised for going slightly left and right in the cone. I am going to putt this, as you've seen in the last few videos. I'm starting to opt to, to putt from this range. Oh, happy with that. Very happy with that. Ian's ball's not as far away as that, is it? Super putt. Oh. Just didn't drop. So I do not know, Ian, um, if Ian's watching and just by luck I've selected your ball. Um, welcome to to the channel, Ian, and um, I hope you're honoured at being my first first ghost ball challenge, or should I say challenger. So we're both knocking a par. We're all square. I've never played this uh, this course here, TPC Sawgrass. I have heard good things about it. Obviously, it is a real course. So hole two. Now, I do have the wind in my favour this time. Slightly. That's a good swing we've put on it. And I just want to say the Hackers Paradise Society, guys, is growing fantastically. I can't thank you all enough. I think we're up to just short of 50 members already in the space of 48 hours tops. Uh, it's fantastic. So Ian's got a four mile per hour wind, so not a huge... Huge disadvantage to either of us there. And you can see that with the the tour clubs, I've probably 15, 20 yards on them. Always oh, put a slow on that, it's going to go right. Didn't go right at all. And, oh, what a nice shot. Bit of an unfortunate bounce. But nonetheless, a good shot in the well. He's just run off the green for me. 
So, I feel if I hit that I'm going to go long, I'm going to hit my hybrid and just take a bit of loft off of this. I'm going to try and fade this ever so slightly. Just going to fade this into the green. Hopefully we get this close. Oh, it's looking good. This could be this could be beautiful. Oh, that's not the nicest of kicks I got there. Never mind, we're still on the green. I thought I played it. I was more it should have been more rewarded more there for a great golf shot. So Ian's chipping it. That oh, looks a decent effort from Ian. So he's definitely gave himself a, a par opportunity. A birdie opportunity, sorry, it's a par five. So this is for my eagle, this is to go one up. A 30 footer. Oh, just didn't hit it. Just didn't hit it. I felt we had the right line. So Ian's got this for a birdie. Oh, and he drops it just on the edge. I need this for the half now. So we're through two holes and we're both all square. It is an even game. And in 73 yards. And I've got an 8 mile per hour wind against me here. Perfect, perfect. I'm swinging well. Hope this one has some teeth. Ah, uh, maybe. Maybe just too much club. Still a decent shot. It's probably going to be about 15, 18 feet right, for the birdie. So can Ian get inside that? Uh, he's got a 9 mile per hour wind against him. That's a good swing from Ian. Looks like it could be nice if it runs up. I would say both balls are quite close to each other. Okay, Maybe say Ian just edges it. I've got a 17 footer. This is quite a tough putt. Oh, I thought I dropped it and was going to put the pressure on Ian. And that's trickled by about 7, 8 feet. Ian, 11 footer. So he was inside me by like 5 feet. Oh, and Ian drops it, so he goes 1 up. Congratulations to Ian. On a hole four, Ian is one up. Oh, he's pushed that left. That's got to go out the fairway. No, wow. Right. I did not check Ian's win there to see what he had. Okay, next stop, fairway, right? So I've got a 10 mile per hour wind. Slightly to the left, more diagonal. Should give me a bit of an added distance here. Powerful. I've pushed mine slightly to the left, but mine's still within the, the red cone. And there's the tour clubs shooting past Ian's ball, but once again, about 15, 20 yards. Ian's got 94 yards. He's put a good swing on that. He's went long. So Ian's got about, oh, I say about a 20 foot putt. Let's see if I can get inside, 79 yards. Just going to pitch this. It's taking, now I'm taking a bit, of, I'm adding loft onto this guys, because these, pit, these pitching shots, I don't know, they're doing my head in. So there's no way that's going to be long. That's going to be short. Need that to kick on. Ah, I just added too much on it. I cannot see me. I'm so far in between them with the tour clubs. Uh, I'm 
it's hard to get a happy medium, so I need to get this close. Happy with that, that's going to be a par. Disappointed with a pitch shot though. So Ian's got this putt to go two up. That's quite a testing putt. He's going to do well to drain this. No, he's just missed it. Oh, now. Ian's went about seven, eight feet past there. He's got this tricky one for a par now. Oh, and he's missed it. So I've got this putt to go to get the game back to all square. Should be making this. Yeah, so it's a level game again, guys. And a very entertaining game. I'm really enjoying this so far, guys. It's a bit edgy. I'm not going to lie. I'm, I'm obviously doing this live. You don't want to be the guy that's making mistakes. And I've absolutely nailed that. And that ball should should go past the 300 yard mark. It has. Ian's got a, a six mile per hour wind. Just slightly in his advantage. Oh, and he's pushed that really left again. Why? So you, you're seeing the, the huge advantages of using the player clubs, I would say, here, guys. It is really making me think, should I be going back to tour, to player clubs? Because it's, I can assure you, if I put that ball as far left as that with the, the tour clubs, it's out the fairway. And that is a nice approach shot if it holds. It's just trickled on a bit. But Ian's on and two, and he's patting for a birdie. Can I get inside his ball? 162 yards. Strong wind advantage here. The wind seems to be leveling out here, guys, so it's quite fair. Hopefully, this 8 iron's got enough to get there with the wind. It's a great swing with Poole on that. This could be nice. This could be really nice. Oh, I thought that would run up a bit more. However, I do feel I'm inside Ian. Yeah, Ian's got a 26 foot putt. He's played it well. He's Oh, good putt from Ian. And I'll tell you what, I would say he's put that about eight, nine feet past easy. So, I've got an 18 foot putt for birdie here. I certainly don't want to be putting it as far past as Ian has. That looks good. Oh, and that's going to be a guaranteed par. But this is what I enjoy about match play, guys. Um, you're not playing the course, you're playing your opponent. Oh, and Ian's missed that, so I've got this putt to go one up. Can I take the lead for the first time in the game? I do. So it's I'm one up. It's took a, the game's took a hell of a swing. Ian was one up on the third. We're on to the fifth, so I've won the last two holes. Hopefully we can continue this. So I've got a strong win to the left, and this is quite a narrow fairway. I'm going to have to judge this well. I've put a perfect fast on that. Wow, but because I overcompensated for the wind, really, I've gotten away with that one. With a perfect fast for the tour clubs, they'll go normally go quite hard left, and perfect slows go hard right. So Ian's at a disadvantage this time with the wind. He's got a a wind blowing in his face here. He won't get as far. Oh, and he's got a nasty kick there. But he's still in the fairway. He's probably out. 20, 25 yards behind me. He's got 105 yards to the pin. But look at that. His club is bang on. His club is bang on. He's probably just took a bit off of that. This should be close. It is. It's a very good shot from Ian. He's probably got about a 10 foot 
pack there for birdie. I have a 68 yard. Yards left to the pin, but it's going to be a pitch shot again. So once again, guys, I'm jacking up this 65 yard gap wedge because I, I just feel that there's something wrong with the pitch shots. Played it well, slightly left, if anything. And I still can't understand how that has went 70 yards. Wow. I just can't get to grips with the pitch shots just now, guys. They're so irregular. Anyway. Oh, I've not I've not judged the break on that well. It's going to be a tap in par, but if Ian drains this, he can take the game back to all square again. 11 footer for Ian, it is a tough putt. No, he's just missed it as well, unlucky Ian. So I think we've both got gimme shots really. Probably in match play I would maybe... Maybe give myself that one. I would definitely give you in that. I wouldn't even ask him to put it out. That would be a good thing they could add on to this for a match play where it would just pop up. Are you going to give him it or just maybe to save time? Put this drive in the so we're on hole seven already. This is actually not taking as long as I thought, guys. I've got. A a strong wind to the right, 11 mile per hour. Put a good swing on that again. And that's just going to be past the 300 yard mark again. So, it's Ian's turn now. Pressure's on Ian. Oh, he's got a strong wind advantage here. And he's nailed that. He'll probably be up, maybe even outdrive me here. Oh, he's kept that a bit left. Oh, yeah. And he's in the he's in the light rough. He's pushed that route. That's no way. That's on the green. Oh, and he's kicked in heavy rough. So I would say advantage to me. I'd say advantage to me. Ian's going to do well to get up and down from there. Tough pin placement, this though. And I, uh, this ball is moving heavy to the left here, but hopefully the wind's going to counteract this. Yeah, it's decent. The wind's taking me around, but I feel it's short. No, it's not. That is a great shot. Absolutely delighted with that shot. It's going to give me a birdie opportunity. And this is a nice course, by the way, guys. Oh, has he even made the green? So Ian needs to drain this, or I've got two sh two shots for the for the hole. Oh, he's been unlucky there. Ten footer here. This is it's ten footer. I've got two putts here, guys. I am probably not going to go crazy here. If it drops, it drops. Oh, we just missed the bird. So I've got the par putt for the hole and to put me two up. Ian gets a bogey there, I think. And this is the, to go two up. So, through seven, I'm two up. Really happy with the way I'm playing. So I've got a 10 mile per hour crosswind. This is gonna be quite tough. Yeah, this is a tough par three, let alone with that crosswind. It's going to be quite a tough shot, 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 shot to judge. I'm, I'm jacking this uh, six wood up as high as I can, guys. And hopefully the wind's going to feed me around if I get a good shot on this. It's a great strike in it. The wind's not taking me around as much as I'd hoped. Still a decent shot. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to be pin high. Probably going to be about 20 feet from the pin. Now Ian's got a, a wind advantage here again. That wind's going to take him right into the pin. He's short here, isn't he? Oh, what a kick. What a beautiful bounce from Ian. Wow. 
Wow, that didn't look like it was getting there, and he, he, he's actually on and patting for birdie. So hopefully these breaks even out over the course of the right. Oh, and I thought Ian was going to drop that and really put me under pressure. I really did. So I've got a 16 foot putt for birdie here. We drain this, we go three up. Just break into the right. It looks good. Oh, and I've nailed it, so I'm now three up. Three up. So despite Ian's favourable bounce, it didn't really affect the outcome of that hole. But that's what match play is all about. It's exciting. Some guy might be playing great golf. The other guy might be playing shit golf and getting all the breaks. That's that's what happens. Once again, we've nailed that down there. I didn't check the wind there at all to see what kind of wind I was playing against. So I kind of got away with that there, guys, because I just did not check my wind there unless I'd done it subconsciously. Ian's got a a wind against him slightly to the right here. So guys, once again, if this is something you're interested in and you would like to challenge me, whether it be live um, or a ghost ball, please comment on the comment section. Um, regarding the society, guys, I have had two or three societies get in touch with me and have asked if we will challenge them. Um, we'll find out um, what we'll do. It is something I am in talks with. So like I say, if you want to be part of that, please join my society, The Hacker's Paradise. Um, no cheaters will be tolerated. Um, the Hacker's Paradise name actually comes from... Hold on, let me play the shot. 255, 7 mile per hour. Happy with that. Um, it was a, a community. I think it's still going. When I actually played real golf, I wasn't very good at it. I was a very high handicapper. I don't have time for it these days, unfortunately. I was just a hacker around the course, guys, you know. High 90s. I'd be shooting consistently, sometimes low 100s. Um, it was just a, a forum, and it was called the Hackers Parad Paradise. There used to be great guys on there. So that's where the Hackers Paradise name comes from. And uh, you will be pleased to know I have... There is no... Uh, enforced handicap now you don't have a, uh, have to have a specific handicap to enter the the society a lot of guys were saying I can't join league because my handicap's not good enough so I've opened it up to everyone now guys uh, obviously the, the the tournaments will be handicap rated though and once again guys my pitch shot what is going on so yeah exciting times ahead for this channel and for my society, I think the society, v society, is going to be excellent. It's going to be a good bit of fun, as is this challenge early. And along with that, my course reviews, um, that's going to be more than enough to, to keep the channel entertaining. So, please get in touch with me if you want to, to challenge me. Um, the next games will be handicapped. Um, so I might be giving away shots, or you might be giving me shots. At the moment, my I've left that a wee bit short. At the moment, my handicap is up and down rapidly, like a hooer's panties. It's it's unbelievable. Oh, he's drained it. Oh, unlucky Ian. So anyway, let's get back to the match play. Ian's got a five foot tap in. He drains it well. Well done, Ian. The pressure was on there. I've also got a five foot. I need to get this for the half to stay three up. I get it. Okay, that's gonna have to hold. So I'm three up after winning the last one and we half that whole nine there. So whole ten. Ian is currently three shots down. But match play, I'm just gonna draw this to hold off the wind a bit, guys. I would say if anything, Ian's had the preferred wind. If I was going to pick a win which I had to play against or play with, it would be Ian so far. But it's no big deal, guys. It's just a bit of fun. As you can see, Ian's got a f quite a favourable wind. I'm just going to add distance to his ball. Oh, he's put a slow on that. 
Oh, is he going to go into fit? Oh, once again, Ian gets a lovely bounce. I think Ian's a member of this course. He's, he's certainly getting the member kicks. Member bounces. So he's 157. He's put a 7 iron into this. It's a good strike. One's taking it round nicely. This could be a worldie from Ian. It's in, is it? What a shot from Ian. So I am now under pressure, guys, or I'm going to drop a, a point here and go back to two. Fantastic shot from Ian. So I've left myself a nine iron. Look at the window. Like I'm saying, guys, I would say Ian has really got wind advantage over me now. I've played a fast, but that shouldn't affect the shot. And this could be decent as well. This could be really nice. And why? Look at that. I'm about seven feet from the pin. All right, this next one for birdie. Seven feet exactly. This looks a simple putt. So I've drained it. Sorry, Ian. If, uh, <laughs> if you're watching, you played a great shot there, but I also matched you, buddy. So that's a half, and that is a good half for me. Because the shot, as Ian's second the shot, was outstanding. Shot of the day so far. Okay, it's time to send this ball on its way. So hole 11. This wind, I must just watch. I need to aim this a bit right. It's a big, big fairway here, though. Oh, I've nailed that right down the centre. And this is going to be nice. So as we see, Ian's down to a two mile per hour wind. Ian's knocked that right down the centre of the fairway also. He is going to be about 15 yards behind me. It's now a five mile per hour wind. He's put a good strike in that. Oh, what a bounce! Why, what's going on here with the kicks? That looked like it was going left and then it done a near a 180 degree bounce left, so a great shot from Ian. So I'm going to have to play my six wood here, I'm just lofting it right up and I am going to fade this, guys, I'm going to try and fade this round, because that is a strong wind. It's a great strike in that, and there's a fade coming into effect. This should be nice. Wow. And I bounce left, Ian bounce right. I'm not getting any favourable bounces here, guys. Hopefully that's going to even out over the round, because Ian seems to be getting all the, the breaks so far. And I'm probably going off the green here. I have. So I'm going to have a chip shot, because I am certainly not patting that from the fringe, or let me see, wait a minute, no, let me chip, no, I'm not happy to put that one guys, I am going to chip this, anything win the 11 yards, 10 yards, I will chip, and let's see if we can just get this up to the pin and stop it, unless we chip in for the eagle, but we haven't done, so that's going to be a tap in birdie, Ian's got this eagle putt for the hole, very, very tough putt. No, nah, that's breaking way right. Oh, oh, Ian. That's going to be a wee tester. It's going to be about a six foot. Five foot. He's got this for the bird. Oh, he's missed. Ian's missed. So Ian gets his par, I have got this for the birdie, and to go four up. So, I am now four up. On to the 12, four up, six to play guys. Hopefully we can get this game done and dusted very, very shortly. I can't see this going down the 18th. Unless I have a complete meltdown, or Ian plays fantastic golf. I don't know if I can make this, guys, but I'm going for it. 
the wind is against me. Um, worst case scenario, I'm just going to be in the light rough and it's just going to be a short pitch shot, which I'm not playing well in the green. Put a great swing on it. I think you're heading into the cabbage on this one. Is it going to bounce out? No. Oh, almost. Almost. What? There's no way Ian's making this. Why is he even attempting that? That's in a bunker. That's in a bunker. Wow, so I don't know what Ian was thinking there. With a, I certainly couldn't make it with the tour clubs. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, what a shot from Ian. Unbelievable. So I'm now severely under pressure now. Once again, it's a pitch shot, guys, which I'm not playing well. Hopefully I can get this one closer. Perfect, perfect. And I've played it decent, a bit short, if anything. This one for birdie. Seven foot. Ian certainly got his. Oh, and I get it. So we're going to stay at four up. That's two fantastic shots that Ian's played. He's not managed to gain advantage over me because we kind of matched him. So if I win this one here, the match will be over and done with. I'll be Dorby. I'll be five up with five before to play after this. So this is for the match. That's a great strike. This could be nice. This could be nice. Oh, with the firm greens, it's just trial. It's just trickled off, and I'm wrong. I, if I win this, we will go up the next hole. It'll be Dormy. There'll be five to play. Ian's also put a good strike in that straight down the middle. Looks like his ball's going to follow my f path and just trickle off. No, his just holds the edge, so Ian's got a putt for birdie. Looks like I will also, because I will be putting this. Oh, I thought I dropped that. So Ian has got this putt for birdie. This is for the hole. Oh, he's got it. Oh, fantastic putt from Ian. So he's clawed one back on me. I am now three up. With five to play. So the pressure's on now. The pressure is now on. Let's go down the 14th. Ian's got a seven mile per hour wind against him. Make that five. He's changing from five to seven. He's put a slow on that, it'll just slightly affect the distance, nothing else. Good drive from Ian, not 272 yards, so hopefully, let's see what wind I have. Right. I've got a 9 mile per hour wind to the left. Hopefully I can get a good drive and put a uh, distance between me and Ian, give myself a short approach shot as I can, i put a great swing on that again. Yeah, 300 yards bang on. So Ian's got a long shot into this green, 205 yards. He's put a very good strike on that. Very good strike on it. Ah, he's short, he's way short. Mind you, that is feeding up really nicely. Why? I didn't expect that ball to travel like that. So Ian's put in actually a decent shot there. 
Hopefully I can get inside his ball here. I've left 177 yards. So there's almost 30 yards of difference there between me and Ian. That is where the tour clubs come in and give you the advantage. Six mile per hour wind against me, so it is going to be the six iron. Lofted up ever so slightly. It's a good swing I've put on that. This should be nice. This one's a beauty. This should be nice. Should be pin high. Look at that for a shot. Delighted with that. So I have got an advantage here. Hopefully if Ian misses his putt here. This is a tough putt for Ian. Oh, he hasn't, has he? Oh, unlucky Ian. Very good putt. So I've got a 10 footer here. This is for the hole and to go back to four up. And I would say this would put the, the game out of Ian's reach. Oh, I've just missed it. I have just missed it. Just missed it. So it's going to be a four foot putt. No break in this at all. This is just a tap in. Game saying no break. Oh, what? Oh my God, lads. And ladies, unbelievable! I am getting no luck in this game at all. That that red, that there was no breaks, so and once again the phantom break come back to, comes back to affect yours truly, and Ian actually gets a win there. This game just hates me. <laughs> I do. I feel at times this game hates me. Ian's been getting all the the, the breaks, the kicks. I've been getting nothing. So now we're the, the pressure's really on now. Oh, that's got to go left. Nah. And I tell you what, guys, I am really considering maybe going back to the player clubs because I can assure you, if I put a left like that, that's out of the fairway, depending on how forgiving the fairways are. That ball didn't even seem to go left whatsoever. So, 7 mile per hour wind, headwind, into my face. I'm why I'm really hedgy now, guys. I'm feel I'm feeling the pressure now. Looking good so far. It's a great swing. I just need to keep my swing together. And as you can see, with Ian's wind advantage, he's right up there with me. He's now got a five mile per hour wind to the right. He's put a good swing on that. And wow, Ian's dialed in here. Ian is dialed in. Decent shot from there. It has trickled on a bit though, guys. That has trickled on. And I do feel I should be getting inside Ian's ball. Still going. So just when I thought Ian played a very good shot, these firm greens in this course. And this is quite a tough course, guys. I picked Ian's ball because it was a, a, the most, um, it was one of the best scores. I think he was sixth under from the gold tees. Um, the other highest score I'd seen from the gold tees was like 12 under, which I was thinking, eh, right, okay. So Ian's was the second best score that I'd seen. It was a believable score. That's why I added his goal, uh, ghost ball. I don't know Ian personally, and I played a good shot here. This, one's looking dialed in. this should be nice. Look at that, we're dialed in. Just going to run a bit past, but I'm delighted with that outcome. Huge advantage here. Oh, Ian's got a nasty putt. 26 feet, one foot up. That's in. Oh my god, what is going on here, guys? I must drain this for the half now. So, this is saying once again, no break, but after the last one, I'm very reluctant. And I drain it, and wow, Ian's breaking my heart here with some of these patterns he's, he's peeling off. So, why wow, still two up, three holes to play. Ian's got a, a six mile per hour wind to the left. He's put a good swing on that, slightly right, but as you're seeing with the, the player clubs, you really don't get punished with with things like that. Good drive from Ian, 286 yards down the down the fairway. Okay, oh, now I've got the wind in my favour here. I must take advantage of this. 
just try to use the whole of the fairway here. In fact, I'm just going to going to draw this round a bit because I do feel that I can't hold the fairway here otherwise without wind. That's a great strike. What? I've hit the tree. Wow. Can't believe I hit the tree there. I must have just added a bit too much of a, a draw onto that shot. At least we're on the fairway, but wow. Ian's actually outdrove me there. So this is now quite a, a tasty shot here, guys. This is a challenging shot. Ball is going to move right off the slope. Just put a touch of fade on this. And that is a good shot. Oh, no, I'm in the bunker. I am in the bunker. Wow, so advantage to Ian here, I would say, guys. Depending on what, he's put a slow putt. That's going left. He's in the bunker as well. Oh, no, he's not. He kicks out. But he is going to leave himself a long putt. He is going to leave himself a long putt here. So I need to get this flop shot close. I'm just jacking this right up. I'm just trying to get it over this face because with these greens, this ball could roll for days. Just want to get it over this face and trickle it down towards the pin. Oh, this could be nice. Oh, just stopped dead. Very happy with that shot though. What the? Ian's chipping this off the green. Oh. Oh, so I'd, I would say the advantage is now me, we have both played three shots. Why wow, Ian's really put that past. Ian's really put that past. Oh, he gets a par. Is that a par? I've lost count now. So I've got this for the birdie. I'm really focusing now, guys. I don't want to put this steaming past. And we've got it. Oh, no, we don't. So that's going to be a half, I think. Yeah, so it is a half. Okay, and the hole will be halved. So, down to 17th, if I get a half here, I will win the match. Slow perfect from Ian. Oh, wow, that's a worldie. That is a worldie he's put in there. This is going to take some uh, for me to get inside that or get near it. Okay, Eight mile per hour wind against. Why? Ian is pulling off all the shots when he needs them. Not that he's aware at the moment. Because um, Ian is, I've never met Ian. He doesn't know me from Adam Eve. Like I say, it's just a random golf uh, ghost ball I added. How am, how is that ball, see, see what I mean guys, that ball went right for days and I only slightly, I'm really considering going back down to the player clubs guys to be perfectly honest, because playing against here and a guy with player clubs in this environment I feel I've got no advantage, so that is it, we're going to go up the, the 18th, I'm going to be one up, so from being four up with about four to play, five to play, I'm now going up the 18th. And this is awful. This is all I can't. Put, I can't pat that. I don't care what anyone says. I can't pat that. If some guys take offence to what I'm doing here, <laughs> there's nothing I can do. Ian's been chipping a few shots off the green. There's no way I could pat that to get that close. It's ridiculous. I am going to try the flop shot. See if I can spin it back in. I've put so much loft on this. The ball's going to spin back. Oh, and I've pulled it off. Just unfortunately, that is not going to earn us anything. 
Ian's probably going to drop this for the birdie. He has. So, guys, I, I can't believe it's came to this. We are going up the 18th. I've still got the advantage. I just, I just need to avoid losing this hole. The, men, the momentum is with Ian. And it's a perfect slow. And he's pushed it right. That is going to go right. But no, it doesn't. Miraculously, again, the tour clubs, you're not really getting punished with the, with the player clubs for perfect slows. And uh, <laughs> what, just for uh, out there, guys, let me put this out there. You guys who are using the tour clubs, I'm watching this video. I see no advantage to using the tour clubs. I really don't. I do. F now look, I've pushed mine right. Look how far right that's going. I'm going to be lucky to stay on the fairway here. But look at the difference. Look at the difference. Um, how right that went. Um, Ian got a slow, which puts it right, and he slightly pushed it right. I got a perfect, perfect, pushed it right, and it went a far a lot for. I honestly don't see an advantage with the tour clubs at the moment, guys. Other than the distance. Um, I feel the player clubs are quite easy to use. Um, I do feel they've got to reward guys who are trying to use the tour clubs more. And look, I've just slightly put that left. And look how left it's going. And once again, I'm not getting the breaks. And that advantage to Ian here. Advantage to I can see this this uh, ending up all square after 18. I'm not sure what the game will do, and that is a great strike for Ian. He deserves everything he gets here for that shot. Oh, he's put that one about 12 feet for a birdie. I must get this chip shot close. There's no doubts about it. I have to get this close to get my par minimum, and just hope that Ian misses that birdie. I would say he's got about a 12 foot putt for birdie. The only thing is the green looks quite tricky and that is a great shot. That is a great shot when I needed it. That is a tap in for par. It's all down to Ian now. Can he get the half? It is a tough putt. Nah, he's missed that by quite a bit. Oh! That's went about 5 feet past, is it? Seven feet. This is not a gimme par now for Ian. Oh, and he sneaks in. So, guys, I've got this for the half, and that means it's going to give me the win. So, the first round of the challenge, your truly wins. Thanks very much for watching this, guys. I hope you're going to enjoy this series, and if it's something you're interested in, please message me. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care. Bye.